today I'm going to show you my entire wardrobe. I live in Germany where we have four seasons and I'm going to show you everything I own from underwear to things I wear outside. If you're new here, my name is Leah. I'm uploading videos twice a week about minimalism and sustainable living. So if you're interested in these topics and want to see future videos, please subscribe. And now let's get started. Underwear, I don't need to show these very closely. It's just, I think about 10 pairs of undies and two bras. I have some socks. I don't count these, I have no idea how many it is, but yeah, just sucks. So let's move on to shirts. I have three shirts here and I'm wearing one, so that makes four. I have a tank top. This is just a cotton tank top with some holes in it, but I'm still, I still like it, I still wear it. I have a bamboo fabric normal tee. I have a woolen long sleeve for during the winter to like have different layers and to keep really warm and it is second hand so I really don't have any concerns about the animals because that has already been produced and I just bought it second hand. It saved me a lot of money too. Moving on to sweaters. I have a sweater that I made myself from wool that my grandma dyed and my mom kept in storage for a long time so that it's a really chunky sweater and sometimes I think it does take up too much space but it's really warm and it's, it's wool as well but again I mean with that story I really don't have any problems using that wool. Another sweater I have is just it's like a mixture of cotton and polyester and I really feel bad for the polyester part be because it's about like 40% and I really don't like to have polyester in my wardrobe but it was a sweater that I picked up at a clothes swapping party and I somehow fell in love with that sweater and I really like it so I will keep it and wash it with my guppy friend wash bag which prevents the microfibers from getting into the water. And then that's the third uh, sweater I own. That's wool as well, bought secondhand in Scotland. And it's a men's sweater that, it was my boyfriend's, but then it shrunk in the washer and now it's mine. And I really like it because it's very warm, but it's not so thick, so it doesn't take up that, that much space and it doesn't look that junky. Moving on to bottoms, I am wearing a black jeans. Then I own a like sweatpants thing. Again, bought secondhand in Scotland last summer where we were really cold and needed to buy some extra clothing. And these are like linen and cotton, I think, but I really like them because I can wear them in winter with my next item, woolen like underpants. And you can see I really ugly fixed them, but they are about 10 years old, I think. And they are still in very good shape apart from like this but I could fix it and I can wear it again. I think my mom bought these for me when I was a teenager. There's this pair of jeans and it has holes um, in different spots. So it has holes here and here. And that's, I can't give it away anymore because it doesn't really fit me, but I will wear it until it falls apart or I will make something else out of it. I thought about gift bags or something like that, but now Christmas is over and I don't really need any gift bags anymore. So we'll see. I have two shorts for the summer, but I'm not really um, happy with these because these, that's just too colorful for me. I really don't like that many colors. And these, they are like self-made. I um, sew them myself, but they don't have any pockets and I really like to have pockets. Now we move on to like necessary other small items. I have a bikini and I'm really looking for a new pair because they are like fall, slowly falling apart but I haven't found any and I mean they are not just yet falling apart so I'm still using it. Then I have a very like thin scarf which I use as a beach towel, scarf, sun protection, something in the summer and so it's a very versatile piece but I'm mostly using it during the summer. I do also have a winter scarf which I'm obviously wearing throughout the winter season and I have used it as a blanket before because I mean it's, whoop, it's big and I own one hat for during the winter time 
Um, it's a sustainable brand from Germany that made this. It's cotton, I think. Um, yeah, just a hat. I also have one pair of gloves and these are from my mom. I think they are over 30 years old and she had several pairs and gave one pair to me because I didn't have good warm gloves anymore. I also have ski pants. These are like warm for the winter. These are in a children's size. Again, bought by my mom maybe 10 years ago, but they still fit and so I took them, even though this is not really my color. But I mean, it's resources that I can use that are already here, so why not? I only own one jacket. It's this right here. It's a rain jacket and I use it when it's windy, when it's rainy. I use it also during the winter. I just try to wear more underneath. I also own a pair of like rain pants. I don't know how you call these, but just for like bicycling because it's really not nice if you're getting completely wet. Now we move on to shoes because that has been all the clothes I own. I have three pairs of shoes. I have my winter boots and these are actually hiking boots, but I use them during the winter and for more extreme hikes. Because uh, these are pretty warm, but not my feet are still cold during the winter. For the next pair of shoes, that are, these are like my everyday shoes, just whenever it's not very like hot in the summer and not very cold in the winter, I will wear these. And they, I have been wearing these maybe 200 or more days a year for five years and I think they are in pretty good shape for what they've done for me. So I'm really looking to buy shoes that can do the same again, but I'm re I really don't know where to get shoes like that because I don't really want to buy new, not so sustainable leather shoes again. But there are some companies of barefoot shoes I'm looking into, but I really don't know about that. We'll see. And now I have to get the sandals. Ooh, these are my sandals. These are Birkenstock sandals. I bought these, I think, three or four years ago. And I hear that they are pretty good and like work for several years. For me, that hasn't really been true because they are falling apart here. So I'm not sure I would buy these again. Again, also because they are leather and Birkenstock is kind of sustainable, but not completely. And this has been everything I own in terms of clothing. I will insert a picture of all my clothing that I keep in my wardrobe. It's organized in one drawer and that works for me. And I don't think I'll ever own more. These are obviously clothing items that I wear every day and these are not like any dress code items as you could see um it could happen in the future that i work somewhere where i need to dress a certain type and then maybe of course i have to buy more clothes but just for now that works for me i think it's a quite minimal wardrobe actually i checked the laundry bin for you it has four undies and one pair of socks so that has literally been everything I own. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!